Hello everyone, Natarajan here. This is the second part of my trip to coastal Karnataka. In case if you have not watched the first one, please check the description below. Before we jump on to what happened, here is the plan which I had actually made from Karwar. My plan was to board the return 06Y68 Karwar SMT Bengaluru Special. The train had a departure time of 23.30 hours. I wanted to get down at Kabakaputur and the train was scheduled to arrive at 5.43 hours the next morning. That was on 27 July 2024. The next train was the second reason why I wanted to do this trip. Ernakulam WDM 3A 14080 with Kabakaputur passenger. My plan was to capture the incoming 06485 Mangalore Central Kabakaputur passenger with WDM 3A and then board the same train which will run as 06484 Kabakaputur Mangalore Central passenger up to Mangalore Junction for a run behind the Alco locomotive. After which, my plan was to board the 16516 Karwa Rishanpur Express from Mangalore Central to reach back to my home, Bengaluru. I booked in both Karwar Special and Karwar Day Train. Now let's see what happened after 19 hours, that is 7 pm on 26 July 2024. In the previous video, I told you all things turned around quickly. So this is what happened. I was sitting on the platform watching my train spotting captures on the camera when I get a message saying, avoid traveling on the Sakleshpura route as trains are expected to be cancelled or diverted. I talked to my close friends first and then talked to the officials at Karwar station but there was no clue on what exactly happened. The next one hour was tense and I was worried what if they cancelled trains. First notification came around 21 hours and by 21.45 this tweet was shared saying regular trains on the route have been directed. There was still no update on my special train. I went to the station master and asked him about this but he was of no help. He asked me to go to inquiry office and get updates. I then went to the inquiry office and asked him about the same. They said as of now the special train will run but on a diverted route. To be honest, I had less hopes and I was worried as it was raining continuously in the guards. The Dudsagar section was also affected on the same day but the line was restored and my mind was saying get back to the base as soon as possible, Talco journey can be done some other time. Looking at the options to get back to Bengaluru, I noticed that there were tickets on current reservation with the Vasco Express bound to Bengaluru via Ubli. But unfortunately, there were no trains to Madgaon at that time which stops at Karwar. Anyway, since no confirmation was given on my special train, I decided to wait. In the meantime, I was also looking for options via Kerala but it was of no use as tickets were not available in any train. Around 22 hours, announcements were made to say that my special train is also cancelled. At the same time, I noticed mainline proceed towards Madgaon. I checked on the status and found out that it's 226Y9 Kochiveli Rishike Superfast Express which skips Karwar. I immediately rushed to inquiry office and requested them to stop this train so that I can travel to Madgaon and then board Vasco to Bengaluru. But the officials declined saying you are the only one affected by this train. So we can't stop a train for a single person. If at least 10 or 15 passengers were there, we could have helped. I was completely broken down, not knowing what to do. I asked the officials on severity of the issue on the line, but unfortunately they didn't have any info on this. I was exhausted with less sleep and I decided I'll take a chance and stay at retiring room at Karwar and hope the Karwar Rishanpur day train starts on time the next morning. I'd actually explained the same in the clip on the location itself but due to the audio device issue I'm doing a voice over here. I went to the retiring room, took a bath and slept around 23-45 hours hoping for a positive news in the next 3 hours. Now here are the details on the retiring room. The room cost is 874 rupees for 6 hours. I took it from 23 hours to 5 hours the next morning. The room is on the first floor of the platform one side. The train arriving on platform 1 is 16515 Eshanpur Karwar day train with Eero diesel locusher WP1. I was hoping for the same train to start tomorrow morning. Now coming to the room, 
It looks neat, but as you can see, due to rain, water has leaked on the walls. I found a lot of insects inside. The toilets were kept neat. Bed sheets were not good, but I was too tired to care about that. You are also supposed to get cleaning kit and water bottle on booking a room, but the person in charge coolly ignored it. I asked him to get it. Unfortunately, the water bottle was not available with them, so I had to go back to the station and purchase one. To be honest, I would never recommend retiring room to anyone because of the mediocre service they provide. I had to go for this since I had no choice. I woke up at 3 hours and see a message saying that 16516 Karwa Rashanpur Express is also cancelled. At that moment, I decided there is no point in waiting here. Looked at the options to return back to Bengaluru. The best option actually was to take a bus to Shumoga from here and then take a train to Bengaluru, but I decided against it. With the plan being fixed, I charged up my electronic devices and vacated the retiring room exactly at 5 hours, that is 5 am in the morning. My first plan was to board 70102 Karwar Madgaon Memu, which departs Karwar at 6 hours in the morning. Took a ticket and waited on the platform. My initial plan was to explore Kali River Bridge but I decided against it after seeing the rain weather forecast. So I continued further on the train to Madgaon. I had actually got a ticket to Suravali railway station. I wanted to spot trains at Suravali railway station till afternoon. My train ends at Madgaon but there is a connecting train to Suravali with my train. The Karwar Madgaon memo arrives Madgaon junction at 7.15 hours and the connecting train 07341 Kulam Vasco da Gama demo departs Madgaon at 7.20 hours. It's a tight connection but I was hoping for the best. Unfortunately, my train was made to wait for a long time at Bali for a crossing and I lost hope of catching the connecting train. We arrived Madgaon Junction at 7.27 hours. The status of the other train was not updating on the NTS or where is my train app. But three minutes later, an announcement was made that the connecting train will arrive shortly on platform number two. I felt relieved and added to platform number two. This train is supposed to be a demo, but then it came with a Krishnajapuram WDG4 and regular ICF rig. Boarded the train and reached Suravali station. The station looks in pretty bad shape now, but then this is what it is. So finished my chapati breakfast and started spotting trains. Everything seemed silky smooth till 11 hours when I checked on the train status for my return journey to Madgaon from Suravali. The afternoon passenger trains on the Kulam Moscow section were cancelled. I had to reach Madgaon station before 15.30 hours to board my next train towards Bengaluru. Unfortunately, no cab booking options were present in Goa except for the airport side. So I decided I'll take a walk back to the station on the highway and, and try to recollect my memories from 2016 of the Goa I had seen. I started the walk after Madgaon Mumbai on the Bharat crossed. The distance was 5 km. It seemed easy for the first 2 km after which I found it difficult due to the Hawaii slippers. Since I had planned only for the journey, I was not prepared for this walk. So I decided to walk very slowly, enjoying the views along and reach Madgaon railway junction by 14 hours, that is 2 pm. I finished my chapati lunch and then waited for my next train, 12779 Goa Express. The train came almost on time. I had actually booked a seat in sleeper class of this train in current reservation while I was spotting trains at Suravali. I also booked another ticket in current reservation but we'll talk about it a bit later. Now a glimpse of wonderful visuals I enjoyed via the Dood Sagar route. <laughs>
At Castle Rock, I spotted a logo which shares a part of my name. Reached Londa at 18.30 hours and I got down here. The Goa Express undergoes a direction change here to proceed towards Belagavi. The same loco from Pune Diesel loco shed reversed and all the train further. I finished my chapati dinner and waited for my next train. Queen of Karnataka, Rani Chennamma Express it is. Since I had a sleep of just 5 hours in the last 48 hours, I booked a 3 tier AC class in current reservation so that I can have a long and comfortable sleep till I reach Bengaluru. The train arrived dot on time, boarded the train. The coach was neatly maintained and the linen pillow covers were neatly washed as well. A perfect way to end an unplanned day. I set up the belt and once the TT checked my tickets, I slept. I had a very good sleep and woke up the next morning to see us entering Eshanpur. One of my best sleeps in trains after a very long time. A sleep like this happened previously on 13 December 2018 in the north. We'll talk about this trip someday. I got down at Bengaluru home signal as the train was waiting for clearance. It's just 30 minutes walk from here to my home. With this, we have come to end of the Scooty Story episode. Hope you all enjoyed it. See you soon.